Website.com accompanied with Ghetto Visual Productions in the building. Huggy B, are you there? Yo, what is popping, my dude? What's happening, man? Yo, I'm just chilling and I'm very, very excited right now because I know that basketball is like a month away and I know you're going to have Golden State highlights and I'm going to have Raptor highlights. Oh, man, you already know I got to follow up with my Warriors, man, all day, bro, man. Oh, I was looking at the schedule, my dude. Oh, check this out. September 30th versus the Nuggets at going down at the Oracle Arena, man. It's going to be going down. Woo! Hold up, hold up. What, what day is that? September 30th, man. Okay, so September 30th, is that an exhibition game or that's a real game? This is a real live legit game that's really finna go down, man. Oh man, I'm so excited. So are you gonna have all the highlights like you did last year all the way through? Oh man, you already know, bro. Like I said, I got you back me up, man, with that clean ass editing you be doing, man. Yeah! Yellow Google Productions finna definitely kick it back off. I took a little while off, but you know I gotta cover my team, you feel me? I know that you have the Golden State highlights covered. I just have to ask you. I don't even know why I asked you. I know you got it covered. What about the Raptors, though? I've been looking into the Raptors, and they haven't made any changes, really. So I'm not really excited about the Raptors. I'm more excited about the NBA season. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. I'm excited about the NBA season myself. I mean, honestly, I'm more excited about the NBA season coming back than the NFL season, man. Straight up. Woo! And you love NFL! Man, I love football. Football is my thing, but it's just it was more exciting last year watching the NBA. I mean, just seeing all the stuff that was going down. But it's just like the NFL is like, man, eh, you know, with the whole Kaepernick protest thing going on. It's like, man, you know what? I'm ready to just get back to some basketball. Right, right, right. Okay, so we know that Isaiah Thomas is going to be out for half the season. What do you think about him joining the Cleveland Cavaliers? Do you think these two are going to go together, LeBron James and Isaiah Thomas? Or do you think this is a horrible decision? This right here is a very interesting. Oh, my bad. My bad, bro. Hold on. Let me, bro, let me come back to that. Um, my bad. Bro. Hold on. Hold on. Was that some technical di difficulty, some ghetto visual productions? Yeah, you know, get all visual productions, man. Like I said, your boy getting the call, but you know what? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is an interesting decision, man. Straight up, it is a very interesting decision. Um, basically, with Isaiah Thomas going to go join up with LeBron James, my boy, it's going to be interesting. We don't know how it's going to go down, but you know, we all know Kyrie Irving wanted to leave, so... We just got to see what happens, man. Right, we got to see what happens. So a lot of people have been speculating why uh, Kyrie Irving left Cleveland Cavaliers. They're saying that maybe him and LeBron, they didn't get along. But let me tell you my, what I think, why uh, Kyrie Irving left, uh, okay. Kyrie Irving left Cleveland. I think it's because Kyrie Irving feels that He's worth a lot of money. Now, all these guys out there, they're getting $100 million contracts, just like Kyle Lowry. Three years, $100 million contract. Now, Isaiah Thomas, he's only getting paid $6 million per season right now. So he's not, he, he's, he's not as good as Kyrie Irving. So with LeBron James and Kyrie Irving on the same team, I don't think that Kyrie Irving can get a max contract. So he's like, you know what, LeBron? I got to go. I got to get money somewhere else. And that's exactly what I think happened. I think I actually agree with that. You know, it's just like it's no room on there for two big stars because when you always have these big stars that play up on team, they always somehow bump heads. Even when Shaq and Kobe, when they played on the Lakers, Woo! and it's just like I don't. It's just the egos isn't, isn't big big enough on the team, man. I feel you. I feel you. now. Uh, some people have been asking me. They're like, "What do I think about Isaiah Thomas and um, LeBron James playing on the same team?" And this is what I have to say about the whole thing. I think that Isaiah Thomas is gonna do the best he can with LeBron James because this is his last year on his season, and he's only getting paid six million dollars. So if he performs great for this season with LeBron James, he'll get a max contract just like Kyrie Irving. But if he doesn't and he plays shitty, then a couple teams are not going to really want him and they're not going to give him. So I think it's going to be a really, really good matchup with Isaiah Thomas and LeBron James. It's a possibility, man. Like I said, we just got to definitely see how it goes down, man. But, like I said, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a good team. It might break them. It might make them. 
We gotta find out, man. I am so excited to hear what you have to say about the Golden State Champion Warriors, okay? Because you always have those highlights, those dunks, everything. Is Kevin Durant coming back to Golden State? Like, what's going on there? Yes, he is coming back. KD is coming back, man. We got a solid lineup, man. This yeah, year, yeah, yeah. We had the new addition, Nick Swaggy P. Young, to the lineup. Oh. He's out there in the Golden State Chase Man Championship ring. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just say? Did you just say breaking news? Swaggy P. is on the Golden State Warriors. Yes, Swaggy P. Nick Young. Oh, yes. I didn't even know that you just made this more exciting. Swaggy P is on the... Okay, go on. Continue. Woo! So, basically, he chasing, he chasing the ring just like everybody else is, man. But we still got all the originators. We still got Zaza Pachulia. We still got Andre Iguodala. We okay. still got Draymond Green. Okay. We still got Stephen Curry. Okay. We still got Sean. We still got Pat, the, the rookie of the year, McCall. Oh. We got, man, they all, we're all coming back, man. It's going to be lit, man. I'm telling you. Clay Thompson, David West, man, it's going to be lit, bro. Oh, shit. That team sounds stacked okay and i don't think i don't think cleveland can beat that team that team that you just told me that's hype that's lit oh yeah definitely i mean we got a few more too omari Kasepi is up in there he's a new addition okay chris boucher and jordan bell man those are also new newest addition to the thing man okay. so we we are definitely stacked we got we got the bench stack we got the starter stack Man, it's gonna be lit, bro. So, um, how are you feeling about this team going into this season? Are you feeling the same way that you felt going into last season? And it's just gonna be a blowout all the way through, or do you think it's gonna be a little bit more competition? It's gonna be a little bit more competition, I would say so. But at the same time, the Golden State Warriors—they could definitely handle themselves. I mean, when we got Coach Kerr out there leading the team. Man, it's like, you, we feel like we're winners all the time, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. La the last time we did a report on Steve Kerr, uh, you had the breaking news. You said something happened to him. What's going on with that? Is he coming back for this season? We're Oh, yeah, he's definitely coming back. He's healthy. I mean, this last year he was having his back issues because he just had a surgery, okay. and he was having complications with that. But the assistant coach, um, he pretty much did his thing. He, he held it up, man. It was just like no doubt. I mean, when Coach Kerr was out, he was still winning them games because Mike, um, I'll say assistant coach Mike, he pretty much played with the greats himself. He he was on the team with uh, LeBron James and stuff. He was the one okay. coaching them back in the day, man. Okay, you see, that's why we need Huggy B, the hip-hop nerd, on the show. Because, look, you just brought, like, three different breaking news to the show that I didn't know. I didn't know that Steve Kerr was coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, coming back, man, and the Warriors are coming back with some fire, man. Straight woo, up. It's not fire, yo. It's worldwide. Spotlight.com. Ghetto Visual Productions. Now, if you guys are looking for those highlights, those explosive highlights, you guys need to hook up with Huggy B. Subscribe to his channel. He's got all the highlights. I got the Raptors highlights. Tell them what highlights you got. Oh, uh, man, I got the Golden State Warriors, man, for my Dub Nation out there. Strength and numbers, you know how we get down. The Splash family, not the Splash Brothers, the Splash family. Splash family in the building. Make sure you guys hook up with Huggy B, the Golden State highlights. I got the Raptors highlights. We're going all season like we do every season. Yo, we have the hypest on YouTube, yo. Yo, Huggy B, I'll hit you back up and there's more information on this NBA news. All right, bro. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Get it, get it.